Hello and welcome here in Munich, in the center of Europe, uh, but also in the middle of the Federated Europe team. At the AAT, the Advanced Aviation Technology Center of Excellence, which is a team of experts uh, which has a lot of industrial and technology background and uh, the team here consists of a lot of different disciplines. We concentrate on turbine aero and compressor aero design, uh, thermal system design, combustor aero uh, and we extended the team which was created 2012 uh, step by step with uh, disciplines on inclement weather, on installation aero, on the hybrid, on aviation av avionics. Uh, two years ago, we created the Aviation Digital Solution Team, uh, which is not focusing on the engine, which is focusing on customers. They are supporting our customers who have aviation digital products here in Europe. I work for Aviation Digital, uh, and we're right here in the Aviation Accelerator Space for Europe in Munich. There is other locations around the world, like in Dubai, in Shanghai, in Washington DC in Austin where we bring customers to work with us. Our solution portfolio comprises products and services in various areas, for example in the area of flight analytics, in the area of asset performance management, um, Air Vault which takes care of documentation exchange between airlines and airlines and MROs or airlines and lessors and there is a fourth category around network which is all about schedule optimization in times where, is, where there is a disruption and you have to take care about the crew, the aircraft assets, the passengers, the pilot and everything to uh, decrease the disruption. Um, here in this space, especially in the Aviation Accelerator, we're not just showcasing products. This is the space where we get creative, roll up the sleeves and get stuff done in terms of the toughest challenges that we have in the aviation space. The team here is intensively working with uh, other sites of the, the Aviation Federated Europe team like Avio in Italy, EDC in Poland, G Aviation Czech and the colleagues in UK and uh, in, uh, in Turkey. Uh, but we are also cooperating intensively with uh, the universities and research institutes, DLR, but of course also the Technical University uh, here in Munich close by and also uh, other universities. One of a very intensive uh, cooperation we have is with the TU Graz in Austria. The Graz University of Technology uh, has a very unique test facility, one that allows us to test an entire subsystem of the engine. And we focus uh, on the uh, turbine center frame, the transition duct between the high pressure and the low pressure turbine. Um, we've been uh, working very closely with the professor, uh, professors, the senior engineers and the uh, students at the Graz uh, University of Technology. And this collaboration has uh, really helped us to mature and develop new technologies for both our narrow and our wide body engines. And we are already uh, planning uh, several tests over the next years to uh, further um, mature uh, technologies and uh, come up with new design ideas uh, for the turbine center frame module. We are here now at the Graz University of Technology, a very old university, uh, more than 200 years in existence. Graz University of uh, Technology has seven faculties. One of the faculties is mechanical engineering. I am Dean of this faculty as well as head of the Institute for Thermal Turbo Machinery and Machine Dynamics. And within this uh, institute we started uh, seven years ago a collaboration with GE starting with a discussion with Gunther Wilfert and uh, we did uh, quite a lot of very challenging investigations on our so-called two-spool rig where we tested the interaction of high-pressure turbines with low-pressure turbines and the so-called transition ducts. For our institute the collaboration is twofold. We benefit in two parts. Uh, the first part is the research work. There we are able to work at high technology front together with uh, GE and our students are able to work in international project teams where they can benefit quite a lot. The second part is the educational part. We can introduce these high technology findings in our lectures and educate our students so that they can afterwards be very interesting employees for the industry. 
I'm attending uh, my PhD courses and in the meanwhile I'm working at the Institute of Thermal Tubo Machinery at the Graz University of Technology and uh, we are working now on uh, experimental setups uh, on uh, GE uh, machines. Having the opportunity to work with uh, such uh, a big company and uh, uh, having the opportunity uh, to work on something that will really impact uh, the next uh, generation uh, uh, single ISIL or double ISIL uh, uh, planes, it's really uh, challenging and uh, stimu stimulating. It's not always easy because it's a lot of work and uh, uh, a lot of uh, uh, experimental uh, stuff, you know, but uh, it's uh, really what I would like to, to do and also in the future. It really gives me a lot of passion and a lot of strength to, to, to go on with, uh, with, with my PhD and with my studies and to uh, keep on this.